Hi guys, this is Dynamic Language Educator. In this video, you'll learn how to greet people in English when you just pass by them. To give you as vivid examples as possible, I've extracted some scenes from TV series and it's only for educational purpose. No spoilers are included in this video as all the scenes are from the first episode of them. Alright then, let's start with watching the scenes. Jenna. Maybe I will. Same time next week, Elizabeth. Hello, Laura. Hi, Marcia. Morning, Rita. Morning, Holly. Morning, guys. Okay, these are all our scenes today. Now, we'll watch them again, focusing on expressions, feelings, and tones. So please pay attention to these points. Jenna. Yeah. Maybe I will. Same time next week, Elizabeth. Hello, Laura. Hi, Marcia. Morning, Rita. Morning, Holly. Good morning, guys. This is analyzing part. Here, we are going to compare the expressions, feelings, and tones we've just seen to figure out what similarities and differences they have, so we can understand how greetings are generally done in English. First, expressions. As you can see, these expressions are very easy. You must have learned them when you are just an elementary school student. But even here, there is something you need to pay attention to. When they greeted each other, they included the name of the person they greeted, whoever they were, except in the last scene where the guy greeted a stranger. So we can learn that it's more natural for us to include the name of the person we greet. So please remember that point. Moving on to feelings, we can see a lot of positive feelings here. All of them are undeniably positive except the last one. So I think it's okay to define that it's general to show positive feelings when we greet. I believe it's a way of socializing as we know, no one wants to be close with negative people. Lastly, tones. Tones normally go with feelings. So all of them are positive, even the last one. Then let's think about why it's positive when it's feelings not positive. That might be because the guy in the scene wanted to hide his true feeling by using his relaxed tone. So we can learn that even when we feel not okay or not good, sometimes we have to say hello as if nothing's going wrong. As I said, no one wants to be with people with negative feelings and I believe this is a way of socializing. You may have different opinions. If you do, you're always welcome to leave a comment. Alright, to sum up, it's better to say the name of the person you're greeting as it's more natural and in my opinion, it means you care about that person. In terms of feelings, you should show positive feelings as much as you can as people want that. And tones. Sometimes you need to pretend you're okay by using your tones when you're not okay. This is all for analysis. Please keep these points in mind.
This is practice part. You're gonna watch the scenes again. But this time, you can find the countdown box on the right side of each scene. When the time's up, you should greet the person in the scene at the moment. You can find what character you're gonna play in each scene by checking the pictures below. Henry's gonna need a new ear. Maybe I will. Same time next week, Elizabeth. Hello, Laura. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you like this video, please click subscribe. I'll continue uploading useful and interesting videos for you. Have a wonderful day and hope to see you soon!